Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we'll gonna discuss why you require service registry in microservices space and what is service registry and one of the implementation we'll see and how we'll uh, create a service registry that one also we'll gonna see. So this is part of the continuation of Spring Boot microservices series and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side. So this is my channel. If you'll see a lot of videos are there. Git for beginners and complete uh, series with uh, uh, Git command line as well as I have a complete series with uh, uh, IntelliJ idea with uh, Git integration. Okay, that one as well and CRUD applications, JUnit, complete things uh, uh, from basic to advanced and uh, Mockito integration test and uh, Java 8, lot of videos are there, CRUD applications okay, CRUD application is theme leaf so lot of uh, videos are there, you can explore them as well, right, if you'll see in the video section so uh, lot of videos are there for you people this will be really helpful to all all of you okay uh, okay so let's jump into today's discussion okay so why we required a service registry and what is the service registry so service registry is a kind of database kind of thing which will maintain the record of each applications okay so it will maintain the record of each application that application details it will maintain if you will consider in this example we have two services ticket booking service and payment service we are calling we are calling from ticket booking service to this payment service if you will consider here uh, we have three mic three instances of payment service they are running under different ports for example 8081, 8082, 8083 and we are calling from ticket booking service to this payment service so this load balancer will identify which uh, uh, which uh, which instance it should call so all this instance should be registered to this ticket booking service or somewhere we need to define uh, that application details okay so without service registry if you'll see we are adding this information where it's running into ticket booking service if you'll see in that coding so this is ticket booking service and in application dot properties if you'll consider here uh, you can see payment hyphen service dot ribbon dot list of servers so this list of servers we have defined where it's running but the problem is suppose dynamically these instances are created based on the load we have some we have some capability it will uh, run the instance dynamically so for example currently we have 8083 and uh, instantiously or we can say dynamically we have another instance up and running with uh, localhost 8083 so that time how we will update this application dot properties okay there will be no no choice right we need to uh, manually we need to write like this another one 8084 we need to have like this but again if you will do like this then there is no point uh, again we need to restart this server and uh, have those properties here okay so this is very uh, not convenient way to do that one so we need to have something so that dynamically uh, we can have uh, those uh, those things it should be available to this uh, ticket booking service so how we'll do this one first we need to register all this instance to this service registry then while ticket booking service will call any of this instance so ticket booking service will fetch all those available instances from service registry okay so service registry is a component where all those entries will be there 
with this uh what you can say for the, all those instances will be registered in the service registry and from service registry ticket booking service will fetch uh, all those uh, available instances and based on that it will call to some particular particular instance okay so service registry maintains all those details and service registry always will have a head bit so which application is running or not it will show okay so this is that uh, so this is the service registry and uh, uh, how can we implement a service registry uh, we have a implementation called spring uh, netflix eureka and we can implement eureka server to act as a service registry hope you got that idea what is service registry and why we require service registry for dynamically uh, uh, for dynamically uh, availability of all those uh, all those instances to ticket booking service okay this is the this is the problem uh, before uh, uh, service registry we need to have manually we need to have all those uh, details of each instance okay to remove this kind of dependencies we need that uh, service registry okay now let's see how we can implement this service registry so if you'll consider here uh, just now i have opened so either you can generate that project from uh, spring initializer or you can generate from uh, ide itself so uh, simple uh, you can choose any of that maven project which is the language java and the spring boot version and you can choose the java version as well then you can have your dependencies like uh, here we need uh, eureka server eureka server then you can generate this uh, project which will which will be in zip file then you can extract and import to your specific ids so already i have created a uh, project for that one so to save some time for you people uh, if you'll see here this is that service registry and uh, in pom.xml you can see i have that dependencies as well spring cloud starter netflix eureka server this will eureka server and uh, after after importing this project to your specific ids uh, we need to change little bit uh, code part so let me explain you that one so in this main class you need to have at the red enable eureka server this is very important from uh, interview perspective so what is uh, at the red enable eureka server if you want to make a application as a eureka server or uh, that service registry we need to annotate that that uh, we need to annotate at the red enable eureka server like this this is one thing and uh, some configurations we required in application dot properties uh, let me show you that one as well this is pretty simple spring dot application dot name as we know if you want to define any name to a application we can have like this and which port it will run server dot port is equal to 8761 and localhost as well eureka dot client dot registry uh, register with eureka false this indicates just see eureka dot client dot register with eureka so uh, as this application itself is server we do not want to register this application to itself okay so that's why we have given uh, register with eureka false so as this is a server it will not register itself into that server okay as itself it is a server this one and eureka dot client dot face registry equal to false eureka dot client dot service url default zone so this is that eureka uh, eureka server url default zone and this url we required uh, required by the applications which it will register for example in ticket booking service we need this default zone so this is that uh, url default zone where uh, we can uh, we can register our applications i will explain you in upcoming videos how we can uh, register 
those application in service registry or Eureka server. Okay, so meanwhile we have done with the development of service registry. Now let's run and we'll gonna see uh, how it will be. Right click and run as server, run as Spring Boot application. It's running now. Let's uh, it's starting that application. It's running on eight seven six one port, right? Okay, eight seven six one. Now let's go to our IDE, not IDE browser, localhost eight seven six one. Good. If you'll see Spring Eureka, this is the Eureka server and system status. Uh, something is there. Current time, op time, those things are there. So if you'll see here, instances currently registered with Eureka, no instances available. So as we have uh, freshly created this Eureka server and we have not registered any instance, so currently no instances are available. Uh, in next video, we'll see how we'll register application to this Eureka server. Okay, then that time here or uh, different instances are will be available. How many instances we are running of uh, one application? Uh, that applications instances will be available here. Okay, so hope you got a crystal clear picture about what is a service registry and how we can implement a service registry as well, right? So. Uh, have your valuable comments in the comment section. Uh, this will keep me motivated to uh, have some more videos like this. Uh, okay, so have your valuable comments in the comment section. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.